Hi, Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw the letters G through L from Alphabet Lore. So let's get started. To draw these cute letters, let's first start by drawing the eyes. So we're going to start here with the letter G, and we're going to come right here and draw a rounded off rectangle. So come right here. The front eye is a little bit smaller. So round it off, and then right here in the back, we're going to draw another one slightly bigger. So say about right here. So hopefully you enjoy the ones I did of A through F. And so this is part two, G through L. Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's come to the top right here, and we're going to draw a line across and come in here, draw that rectangle and shade it all in here as well. There. So then now let's come back to the eye right about here. We're going to draw the mouth. So come out with an angle and we're going to draw the silly mouth that curls towards the center of this eye. And then we're going to come down, go right back up about right here and then bring it in. Then let's cut it off right here with two lines for some teeth. <laughs> Such a silly expression, right? So much attitude. Okay, so then from there, we're going to draw uh, the top of our G. So let's come back to the eye about right here. And we're going to go up for this arm. Go and thicken it up. And we're going to bring it back to about right here. So say about right there. We're going to bring this down towards the eye. And we're going to bring bring it down a little bit more. So it's going to curve kind of like where the mouth is. So about right here. There. Then now let's come back to here where the mouth is and we're just going to draw the other part of our G. So about right here. And then we're going to go up. So angle a little bit and come in towards the mouth. And once again, we're just going to thicken this all up. So this is kind of like the letter G is flexing, right? That's kind of looks like to me, flexing his arms. So we're just going to go ahead and connect all of this. All right here and over. So there, we got our G in. <laughs> A little bit complicated, but hopefully I made it easy for you to follow along. So now that we have that, this is basically going to determine, uh, be my template for all the other letters. So like the eyes are about right here in the center, I'm going to come right across about in this area and we're going to draw our H. So the H, the eyes are a little bit bigger. So I'll come about right here, but they're still the same, just kind of like this rounded off rectangle. And I'll come right across, say about this wide and draw the same thing. So this H is kind of like zombie-ish to me. <laughs> and then we're going to come in here and draw a little rectangle on both eyes. There. And let's go ahead and just shade this in so you can see a little bit better. I believe this part is black. Not too sure. Forgot. And same thing here. Okay, and then in between the eyes, we're going to draw this mouth. So come right here, we're gonna draw a curve for not a very happy H, right? And then we're gonna thicken it up and then draw some lines in here, two and three. This part will be shaded in as well as this. There. And then we're going to come right above this mouth, right in between the eyes, and just draw a line across. And same thing right here. A line across. Then from there, we're going to start to draw the arms and legs of our H. So we're going to come about right here and here. And we're going to go up. So let's go up close to our H, right? So we're going to draw some curves up here as we come up here. So one, two, and three. 
band, same thing here. So come down. And we're going to draw the same thing. So one, two, and three. So let's do the same thing on this side. So about right here. Go up. And this arm is slightly higher, just slightly. One, two, and three. Bring it down. And this leg right here is slightly lower as well on this side. Two and three. <laughs> there. Okay, so we have our H. Now to draw our I. So the I has really big eyes <laughs> and um, googly eyes. So let's come right about here once again in the center area. And we're going to draw a very big rounded off, almost like a square. So draw some cuties just like the first one I did from A through F. Just remember we're drawing this freehand so it's not going to be exact or perfect <laughs> to the original alphabet lore. But we just want to get close, right? And have fun with this. So hopefully I'm helping you today. And so we're going to come in here and draw another little square rectangle. I'll shade this part in. And same thing here. So definitely let me know in your comments below, in the comments below, which one's your favorite letter from this batch. Okay, now we're just gonna come out right here and thicken this outside as well. Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's draw the body of our eye. So I'm going to come about right here, kind of like the center of our eye. And here, and then we're just going to draw the top. So go up. And connect. So same thing here. Nice and thick actually, right? Here, and then the bottom. Okay, so we have I, G, H, I, and then J. So J is really silly. I kind of like J. He's my favorite, I think, so far. So let's come right here in this area, and we're going to draw another rectangle. But this time it's going to be a tall rectangle. So about right here, round it off, and then one in the back, a little bit shorter, and the eyes. So we're going to come here with a line. And then come to the corner right here on the side and shade this part in and right here as well. There. And then this silly mouth. So we're going to come back to the eye, come down, and we're going to draw the mouth that curves right there and then curve in. Then we're going to cap it off for some teeth. Then continue this little curve right here that's going to go up, about right here. And then just like the eye, we're going to come right here and draw the top. And about right here. And come down. Okay, so say about right there. Now we're going to draw the, um, the loop, right? So. We're gonna come about right here. Just it's easier for my hand, so I'm just gonna come about right here and draw this curve that comes down. So just you want to go up this way if that's easier for you. And come right here, and then we're going to draw another loop and connect everything to create our J. <laughs> there. And then come right in here with a little detail with another crease. Okay, so we have J. And I might have made that a little bit too big. <laughs> but it's okay, right? It's extra cute. Now to draw K. 
And so the cave, the eyes are kind of like in the center right here um, of the side. So once again, we're going to draw around it off. This is more of a square. Here and then in between the eyes is kind of like this beak. I hope I have that right. It looks like a beak. Right here, we're going to draw a little line, curve it up, a little smile, and then the back eye right there. And I believe it's black. So I'm just going to come right here and put in this little highlight. If I'm wrong, I'm going to change it. But I think it's like a really dark and then like a gray highlight. But I want you to be able to see a little bit better. So I'll just go ahead and shade this all in. So there's supposed to be a separation line right here, like a gray. I'll do that one in a computer. But two eyes like that, buggy eyes, and then we're going to go up. Right here, and about right there. And then we're going to round off and bring this down right next to the eye. So same thing here. And come back to about right here. So now that we have this part in, we're going to draw the part that comes out. So I'm going to come right here. And whip out it's kind of like wings and bring it back and then one more and bring it back and this time when we come back in we're going to come out again for this little part and bring it in and connect whatever space you have left so it's actually three and then we're going to come in for all the little details because it's like the wings are fluttering, right? So it's a little triangle right here and a line without going to too many details. And there's actually another line right here that now that I look at it and there's actually another line here and in between right here. It does get confusing, but hopefully we've got one triangle here. And then two lines right here. One and two. There. So it's just this little bug that's fluttering or bird. And then right here is some antennas. And a little dot at the top. There. Okay. So we got K. And last one today is L. So L is really beefy. <laughs> so we're going to come right here and very silly. Uh, here in the center again, I'm going to come right here and draw that rounded off rectangle. One, this one's at the back, two, and once again, cut it off. There, same thing. And then we're going to come down about right here. For the mouth, so we're gonna come down and we're gonna go up close to the eye, about right here. Just pass it a little bit. We're gonna round it off with this grin that L has. Pass this part and then come down. And then we're just gonna draw a line that comes out for the arm of our L. So let's come back in here. We're gonna fill it in with two more lines at an angle for the teeth. So then let's bring this up. It's a little bit straighter. And about right here, I'll round it off, come across. About right there, and then come in. So we just want to pass this, so about this thick, and bring it down. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to draw this part right here. Just come down. And this part right here at the bottom, we're going to give it a slight angle, just very slight. Because when you're coloring it, this part is actually like the end of our L. So just give it a little slight angle before you connect it. And so then come right here, 
and then connect there and then in the end right here is this little curve and a curve like a chin right that's so silly and oops sorry i totally just realized i forgot to put a smile on eye right here so in between good thing i saw this we're gonna put a little smile for our eye. I bet you guys are like screaming at me, right? To hurry up, put the eye before you forget, put the smile on the eye. Um, so thank goodness I caught it and that is pretty much it. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything and I really hope I helped you draw the letters G through L today from Alphabet Lore Fun and Easy. And if you love this, uh, definitely check out my letters A through uh, F and more is coming to finish it off finish all the alphabets. Thanks so much for watching and if I helped you today please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.